Hello and welcome. Today signifies a new package, quite a large package, which I have not opened yet, mainly because it contains all these bloody packing peanuts, which are a pain to clear up. We'll extract the product in question. Here we go. Comes out easier than a baby. Oh, I don't know why I'm pouring all those out. Of course, you've read the video title, so you already know what's in this box. This is a retail condition, as it was sold, Sega Mega Drive. So this is essentially a brand new Sega Mega Drive in its box. If you're wondering what this is, well, it's a retail condition Sega Menacer. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. I'm just going to tidy this up before we continue, I think. There we go. I think we should take some time just to appreciate this box because man that is in incredible condition look at it it's just it's 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 square and it's every angle is definite and there's no creases and there's no rips and oh look at it look at this look at it. it's amazing oh that is that is the nicest mega drive box i've seen in a long time on the back we've got an array of games, we've got Alien Storm, Quackshot, Fantasy Star 3, Mercs, Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe 2, Spider-Man. We've got the Master System converter down there, the Arcade Power Stick. Now, this is a box which doesn't come with a packing game, which, you know, it's fine. It's still the original Mega Drive console. None of this Mega Drive 2 nonsense, even though the Mega Drive 2 is nice. I've always preferred the original. Let's, uh... See if we can dive in. So careful not to damage anything as I go. So this was sold at an auction as retail condition. I didn't get a chance to look at it beforehand, but retail condition means brand new, or it should do. Come oh man, look at this. Oh look, look at this. Look at that! Look at the pristine packaging! Right, let's see what's under this lid. Ah, oh, the, the sound of the cardboard. Oh, it just smells of the 90s. Inside, we have everything packaged up perfectly. We've got a little bundle of instruction manuals there. We've got the Mega Drive itself in its original bag. Oh, I, I don't want to open this. This feels too pristine to dive into. We've got the uh, RF box here, the switch box, power adapter. And down here we have a pristine control pad. Look at that, it's never, it's never been touched. This controller has never been used. Man, this is, this is, this is incredible. This is a moment to cherish. What does it say on the inside? 904 printed on the inside cardboard. Right, we're gonna have to dive in. We're gonna have to carefully open the packaging and uh, get a closer look. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm gonna start with the console. Now this piece of sellotape here, this tape is 30 years old. So I'm just gonna cut it very carefully. Look. Look, look at that. Absolutely pristine. Look at it. It is, it is untouched. It is unmarked. Plastic. It isn't one of the original ones with uh, high definition stereo sound round the top. But that does not matter because it is, it is, a, it is gorgeous. It's a thing of beauty. Serial number 22037826. A number to cherish for all of time. I'm going to move on to the control pad. There we have a pristine Sega Mega Drive control pad. Take a look at that. What a thing of undeniable magnificence. I've always loved Mega Drive control pads. Something about the shape, the design, they felt so advanced compared to the standard rectangular pads of the Master System and the NES. These felt incredible it felt like you were playing with power 
to steal a uh, phrase from another manufacturer. Like a shine to it. But it just felt so sleek and powerful and deeply sexual. Oh, yes! I'm not going to take this out of the packaging, but this is VRF box for plugging into VRF socket of your TV. Oh, so switchy. The components in this bad boy are just waiting to be heated up to operational standard. Man, I'm getting such intense feelings of like Christmas Day 1992. And this, it, it gives a new feeling. It's a new experience seeing it in that pristine, untouched condition. What's it smell like? It smells like slight uh, heated electronics, which is surprising given it's not used, but it's mixed with a synthetic plasticky undertone. But this box, even without anything in it, it still weighs quite a bit. We've got all this cardboard to keep everything in place and you can feel the quality of it. It's just, it's solid construction. Okay, onto the documentation, which in many respects is the best bit. Look at that slightly yellow tape. Just, just giving away the age there. So, inside we get the original Sonic the Hedgehog poster. Oh man, this thing just brings back memories. I used to have this on my bedroom wall and on one side you get Sonic and on the other side you get all the Mega Drive games, which is just, just a thing. Just a thing of, you know, you'd sit there and just stare at this poster just for hours, just looking at Sonic, taking it off a wall, looking at the back, seeing which games you could get next. We've got a Sega guarantee and registration card. So many checkboxes. What other games consoles or computers are there in your house? PC, Amstrad, Master System, Commodore, Atari Lynx. You're a lucky boy or girl if you ticked a lot of those boxes. And here we have the instruction manual. Mega Drive, arcade graphics and sound, new dimensions in gameplay. Yes, I used to love this manual. Just the pictures of it showing you how to set up your Mega Drive with different TVs and audio systems. Uh, just, just, I mean, there's not much to it before you go on to German, but look at that. Look at the, look at the manual, so flattened, tessellated. It's a thing of absolute beauty. Man, this has been an experience. I am quite tired. I might have to go for a lay down before moving on to be Sega Menacer. Woo! Right, I'm sitting down for this one. There was too many bits of power to, to, to cope with the Mega Drive. Look at this. Look at this box. This is the Sega Menacer. I remember when this came out and... Uh, and on the back we've got a sticker that says not to be sold separately. So I wonder if this came with the Mega Drive itself. Inside I'm expecting, oh, wondrous, wondrous things. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Pristine manual pack. Menacer instruction manual. So we've got the two sites here. In, in the side we've got the Menacer game tucked away, the six game cartridge, which included such wonders as Ready Aim Tomatoes, Pest Control, Space Station Defender, Whack Ball Frontline, and Rockman's Zone. Never been opened, look at that. Pristine game box, pristine cartridge. Ah, the instruction manual has fallen. Let's get the cartridge out. Look at that. Sega Menacer cartridge. Very easy to mark up with your hands. In here we have the uh, Menacer itself. So here's the Menacer. Got a bit of, a bit of sellotape at the end. Now this was always, I, I preferred this to the uh, SNES Super Scope. I just liked how it was modular and you could take it apart and use it as a pistol or you could use it as a, an assault rifle and then you could add the, the lenses on the top. 
Here we've got the, uh, the box to go on top of the TV. And the last part in the box is this uh, scope holder. Oh, nice. Um, I wonder if we should set this up and just give it a quick blast. Well, this is definitely not as comfortable as I remember. Good God, you can't look through both binoculars without putting the arm piece in the middle of your chest. What the hell is the point in that? Oh, you can look through one, but how's, how's the kid on the box doing it? He's kind of got it like, he must disjoint his entire neck. <laughs> oh, Sega. Oh, this is not how I remembered it. Dusty already. Ah, oh, I can't, I can't bring myself to set this one up. I can't do it, it's just so pristine. You're gonna have to make do with some previous Mega Drive footage I've captured. I'm sorry, it's just too perfect. This is going back on a shelf, so is the Menacer, and I might get it out again at some point, but at the moment I just, I can't do it. I just can't do it. It's too pristine. I feel bad for getting it out of the box. <sighs> so there we go. I guess all that's left to do now is some glamour shots with some appropriate music alongside. So there they are, safely back in their boxes, and for now, that's where they will remain. I have enjoyed unboxing both of these precious, precious things though. It threw me back to the 90s. Ugh. And by keeping them like this, hopefully I can experience that again in the future. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them from this point forward, just probably keep them for uh, when I open my museum some point in the future which I hope to do maybe possibly it's been quite an anxious time opening these because you know I didn't want to damage anything or ruin the experience uh, for myself or for you watching it but I hope you've taken something nostalgic from it and I hope to see you again soon 
Thanks for watching and have a great and nostalgic evening.